All right, man, Terrence Crawford did an interview on The Breakfast Club and said that he would be open to fight Javante Davis if he came up to 47. He said also he will be able to uh, fight Canelo at a catchweight, 158-160. Also said he just in it for the big fights, for the big money fights. That's what he in it for and that, uh, you know, could be retiring soon. So he in it for the big fights. Let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Now, Tate Davis, old interview, you know, with chicken shit talk, was 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 brought back up. Now, he also did the interview with them dudes from Baltimore, too. I think he was talking about Terrence Crawford. That's when he made the glass shield and metal shield reference between Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. Now, like I've been saying, Gary Russell been running his mouth, too. Just like Tank, and once Terrence Crawford tapped Earl Spence's ass, they know where to be found. You know, you got interviews resurfacing, and you know what I'm saying, oh, you want to fight? Like I said before, you know, uh, where where the fuck they at now? You know, Keith Thurman, only one that got heart to call out Terrence Crawford. You know, Jermail, you know, you know, he want to call him out after he publicly got shamed, and his brother got slapped up. Which I'm gonna talk about him pressure charges. I'm gonna do a video on that. I did a short on it, but I'm gonna do a video on it. Right? But where are they at now? Like I said, man, you know, one common thing in boxing is when somebody got a fight lined up, everybody wanna call them out. But when they free, ain't nothing but space and opportunity. No nobody got shit else to say. Don't, buy, don't nobody else got shit else to say. Crazy, right? But that's that's what it be like. But um, but I mean, Tank Davis ain't gonna say nothing because he know what time it is. And a lot of these dudes be having so much hate for thy brother in boxing, and ain't no brotherhood in boxing too. I hope y'all realize that. And what that really hit me was when Deontay Water lost to Tyson Fury and everybody rejoiced. That's when it hit me. It wasn't no brotherhood in boxing. It wasn't no black brotherhood in boxing. And all them black people, a lot of them black people that was at that fight, and I'm talking about celebrities and shit, you know, and other fighters and shit, they was happy that that dude lost. It was like a sigh of relief. But when it came to Caleb Plant, it was, oh, he fought violently and 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 he, he fought his ass off. He showed a lot of, I, mean, I was just tired, tired of the community. Whether it's the community, the black community out here in the, in the free world or it's the black boxing community. It's a fucking facade, bro. Ain't no community, ain't no community or no community. It's not. Ain't no cohesiveness, ain't no unity. That's why they blew out that black Montgomery boat thing that went down in Montgomery. That's why it was a big thing. Yeah, it was the fight as well too, but it was an even bigger thing because people was pointing out, wow, black people are working together. Look look at DeAndre and Devin work together because ain't no unity, bro. I done been on jobs where I came in with a high position and everybody that hated on me looked like me. But had I came in in another ethnic background, everybody would have been submissive and helpful and helped me figure things out and stuff of that nature. I, I've been through all that before. I've been through where your own people got a knife in your back, your own people that look like you on a job where your teammates got a knife in your back and they really ain't your boys, y'all really ain't got no type of unity, or your union brother really selling you out and shit. It feel like 80, 80 to 85% of the time, it was people that looked like me. That was my biggest arch rival, my biggest enemy. And I didn't even, a lot of times when you're young, you don't know who your enemy is. You be thinking your friends, but somebody come back, oh, they said this, do you open? you like, damn, it's like that? That's crazy. That's crazy. 
You know, but it's life. It's life. You know, but uh but yeah, they had a lot to say. You don't see Gary Russell volunteering to jump up no no weight class to fight Bud right now. You hear Javante Davis on mute. All that dick gargling he did of Canelo Alvarez and why why is Terrence Crawford number one and well he ain't done, he ain't fought nobody, and Canelo the greatest, and I wanna wear Canelo gloves and I wanna sniff his underwear if he get done fighting Charlo bitch ass. Yeah, I said it. Sure did. Sure did. Y'all be praising these weird ass, you know, metrosexual and I'm being nice ass fighters, his sassy ass. Do all that woofing. But ain't nobody ever asked Tank to deliver substance. Here come Floyd. Well, you know, uh, Tank ain't pound for pound, which he is pound for pound on two credible sources, Ring Magazine, ESPN, which lost a bit of credibility by putting him up pound for pound. In my book, because his best win still is Pedraza. Don't care what Floyd say. Well, CJ, you you don't like Tank uh, uh, because you don't like me. And, 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 and you always hating on uh, 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 you and Coach Malachi. Uh, uh, always hating on PBC. Um, you know, Terrence Crawford is PBC now. Um, um, I did that. Um, 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 I really, uh, 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 Leonard, Leonard, I really announced the fight. You know, I, I, I was the one on Al Heyman IG, PBC IG. And, and, you know what I'm saying? Dude, when you talk that shit, you got to be able to back it up, especially in a sport like boxing. Let's call it spade a spade. Let's call a spade a spade. And all of a sudden, he didn't went missing. Now, had Terrence Crawford lost, you would have heard Gary Russell barking. You'd have heard the Chihuahua, light-skinned, light-skinned Chihuahua, you know, Javante Davis barking, talking shit, told you he wasn't shit. I would have did this. I would have not even won. You didn't hear the motherfucker say shit, but to keep Thurman. Jamel sitting here, I don't know why you talking to me. I'm undisputed. I, you know, I, I'm, I did that already. So the fuck did he did? He did it before he got in the ring with Earl Spence. You forgot? I want to fight Canelo. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. <laughs> These niggas so sassy, bro. They so they be in a they be in a soft girl Earl for real. For real. Tank ain't gonna tank, man. Tank ain't gonna fight nobody in his weight class. He going to fuck around and lose to Nayu and Nuyu way. Y'all think I'm playing. Let Nayu and Nuyu way really move up the right way. He ain't beat the shit out of Tank ass. Tank ain't shit. I keep telling y'all, if Tank was shit, if he was as good as they say he was, he would fight somebody. That's common sense. One plus one equal two. He about to be 29 years old in November. He ain't fought nobody. Nobody. I think Tank can do... You think. You've been thinking for, for the past five to seven years. Oh, uh, you know, I think I think Devin Haney didn't have no major promotion promoter behind him for real for a while. And he still did more than Javante. What Charlo tell him? You with Floyd Mayweather, you still ain't fought nobody. And you still ain't fought nobody, cuz. Like, like, miss me with that. Literally, miss me with that. The boy be talking real heavy, bruh. Real heavy. And then, you know, him about fighting Canelo Wilder. Canelo ain't a common. I'm going to keep saying this. Canelo ain't accommodate no ninja. Canelo ain't accommodate nobody. When you at the top, why am I trying to close the gap with somebody that's behind me? Why am I trying to, you know, he already said, I ain't fighting no Mexicans. Why am I going to help Munguia or help? David Benavidez overthrow me. Are you smoking rocks? Why well, I'm going to help them? Come on, man. You see what Floyd Mayweather did to me? Drain me? I'm going to get the upper hand off of, over all y'all. So no, he's not going to get in there and come back down 8 pounds or 10 pounds to fight Terrence Crawford. You out your rabbit ass mind. And he been as high as 175. He don't take risks like that. He took the Gennady Golovkin risk 
because you know the public had a backlash but ain't nobody the public ain't calling for him to fight you know terrence crawford like that Terrence crawford said oh, yeah i do 58 60 that's cool and canelo like oh no 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 68 canelo ain't wouldn't accommodate charlo four pounds three pounds one pound one and a half none he wouldn't even go up and fight Julio Cesar Chavez at 168, which was an easy win. He drained him to 164 and a half, I believe it was. And you think he about to accommodate somebody as skilled as Terrence Crawford? You crazy as hell. Y'all be giving Canelo too much credit, man. He ain't shit neither. If he was from Ireland, motherfucker had 10 losses. If he was from Iowa City, you know, Iowa, he had about 15 losses. Let's keep it real. He... he he a talented fighter, but it ain't shit. He just look, he just look, he's a distinctive looking Mexican. That's it. His skill set ain't shit. Like I said, other than being naturally bigger than Terrence Crawford, he, you know, you know, he don't do shit better than Terrence Crawford. I can name a few fighters that he don't do shit, but obviously he don't do shit better than Dimitri Bivol. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Nothing better than Dimitri Bivol. They don't do nothing better than Nayu and Nuiwe. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, we can keep going on and on. You know? But one thing he do, he, you know, he work hard. He stay in the gym. He does have physical talent. You know? I can make a case. He really don't do shit better than Keith Thurman. Maybe Keith Thurman from a decade ago, though. But it is what it is. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. And the subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live or drop video. Um, financially, want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Appreciate the love, support. Um, you can find me everywhere from Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Appreciate y'all. Peace.